both of you guys work with uh, with Justin Timberlake stuff, right? Yep. And yeah. wait, have you got you've done the you've done the Bieber stuff too? I know you're on the Bieber record. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep. I'm, I'm, I grinded, man. You know you what was, is it, how, like which which Justin was uh, was a crazier experience for you working with? I mean, both of them is talented, man. Both, both <laughs> of them cool, man. Both of them cool. And you've been you've known you've been knowing Justin uh, Timberlake because you were on a record years ago. Yeah, People I was might forget. On, uh, like I love you. Yeah. You know he, you know stepped away from NSYNC and went solo. That's crazy. How did it feel? What was it like? Because you, especially you being a street rapper, how do you guys, uh, whether it's working with Justin Timberlake or Miley Cyrus or stuff, how do you guys decide what direction you want to go with your career? Because you guys have such, you know, brands to be protective of, and everything's worked out for, for fine. But how do you decide, like, yeah, I'm going to do that, or no, nah, I don't think I'm, I'm going to do that move. I mean, I feel like if you get on whatever you gotta get on, you just be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Exactly. No matter what the beat sound like, you just deliver what you people used to, you know, hearing from you. Exactly. Okay. Back yeah. back when we did that, man. I mean, Justin was in the studio singing, grinding word for word. So I was what? like, What was that like, dude? Yeah, yo, I, listen, I'm I'm sitting there shocked. Like, <laughs> man, what? Four and a half, what? That's crazy. Okay. And hey, you got Justin on your album. Yeah. How'd that yeah. record come about? Man, I was just in the, uh, in the studio with Timberland. We was recording Another some VA records. Another VA, dude. We were <laughs> yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? And I was on my way out the door, and he was like, yo, listen to these records. And he was just going through his uh, iPhone. He was letting me hear this one, that one. I was like, yo. He, I said, yeah, I like that one right there. He said, you like that? I was like, yeah. He said, you use for your album. Mm -hmm. I was like, all right, thanks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll take that, right? Yeah, so they blessed me with yeah, that, man. There so. we go. At Tripper Mob wants to know, what are your thoughts on Kendrick's control verse? Of course, everybody's talking about that. I think it's a dope verse, man. I think it was yeah. great for hip hop. Yeah. And, um, you know. It gets people talking. Anything that gets people talking is yeah. exciting, right? Yeah. How, yeah, do, how do you feel like when you guys do a record and stuff, especially you push recently, people always think you're talking about different people and all that stuff. When people don't say any name, what are, you, what are kind of your thoughts on, you know, just diss records and, and hip hop and stuff in, in general? Is it healthy for the, for the, for the, the culture? Yeah, I think it can be as long as it's done tastefully and as long as it's, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, shows the lyricism and, and, and so on and so forth. Like, everybody ain't got to get along, but as long as the music's good, I mean, yep. you know, ain't nothing to talk about. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I think I think I got Ye on probably about six tracks. That's big. Yeah, I got him on six tracks. And, um... I mean, just as far as the whole project in general, I'm talking about from my artwork to my marketing. You posted a picture of you and uh, Justin backstage somewhere recently, right? Yeah, I was out in London. And I was able to see a little bit of the performance with him and with him and Hov.